We got top 16 going on right now. This is the rough top eight cuts. We're taking pictures of the victors. Maybe we can grab an interview with these guys really quickly, but like, like we said, it is a cutthroat top 16 worlds. Hey guys, you wanna come over here, talk to you a little bit? You made top 16 in Team Worlds. First of all, congratulations. What's your team name? Team LGS. Team LGS. All right. What happened out there? Why the loss, fellas? What happened? So our, our, our pools were absolutely trash, hot trash. But we got really lucky and pulled an Oroka team with Cora. So we were able to actually eke out some really early wins in the first two rounds, 300-point uh, scoops both ways like so we pulled up a lot of points so when we were going into the third round we had to play the Robemeisters and they uh, colluded with the rest of their team and got all the best figures okay you heard it here first might be a rumor I don't know but it's probably true it's true anyway so they handedly killed us and I when I say handedly I mean like it was just like oh god <laughs> <laughs> it was pretty bad. And then after that, we went into the third one, and I lost. So I look over at these two, and I'm just like, if y'all don't win, I'm just going to cry. <laughs> and then Robbie got a win, and then James got a win, and we made it into top 16. And it's beautiful. We're representing Dallas, Texas. It's good to go. We're in there. All right. Good job, guys. Congrats on the top 16, though. Fantastic. All right, we're seeing grab one more interview here, guys. It's going to be really cool. We got, got some matching jerseys going on. Guys, can we talk to you guys really quickly over here? If it's okay, it might be conflict of interest, but Adam's not here, so that's totally fine. So team clicks in it, Asgard to mouth, why? I must say why? That's our local play group. It's, yeah, we've been doing that for a while. Right. You guys got top 16, so congratulations. Is this your first Worlds that you play teams at? Uh, yeah, we haven't been to Worlds before. Okay, fantastic. Uh, what did it? Why? Why'd you lose? What happened? What'd you scrub out? What's going on here? Let's move on. Let's move this way really quick. Can you leave on a picture? Why'd you lose? Uh, does anyone else have an answer, or should I keep going to you, team captain? Do you can finish? Okay. What's up? Why is it all your fault? Well, I missed zero, uh, or I missed all my attacks and two crit misses. So out of uh, four or five rounds, that didn't go well. But uh, he was, yeah, dude. Guns like that. You're not allowed to take guns on the property. You know that, right? Okay. No. But uh, who was your MVP? She, she went four. Oh, oh that's good. Yeah. All right. But all right, congrats on your top 16 win, guys. See you guys. All right, we'll see if we can grab, uh, let's snag one more. We got Earthbound and Down up here. Get over here, guys. All right, congrats on top 16 at Worlds. I know you guys are probably your first top 16 ever. I know I'm just messing with you. What, uh, what, who, who are you? Who are you again? L, 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 uh, El Capitan. El Capitan. All right, so what happened out there? Why the loss in top 16? It was clearly going well before then. Kenny annihilated his match just okay. killed it okay. i dropped the ball i hit the wrong map and just got buried out did you choose map or map. you did Ooh. i didn't choose map i forgot how successful mad jim is with a hope yeah. with all that barrier and morlock tunnels is not the place to go with that all right i gotta ask was there any uh solemns or any hopes on your teams at all no, no? i'm sorry i'm sorry jay i'm sorry jay it's really sad it's really sad who is your guys mvp for your team Okay, Kenny, why is why? Why? Why do you think so? Because I'm Manny Kings. Well, okay, we can't swear, so let's try that again. Uh, I don't know. I had a dope team. Emma is great. I just realized this isn't a real microphone. Where shut up, shut up, shut, shut up. <laughs> so that kind of made me laugh a little bit. Uh, no, I just played calmly. I had nine range with Emma and uh, the rare Magneto and just beat the living shit out of my opponents. Mr. Reyes, anything you want to say real quick? Yeah, uh, just I messed up too in in uh, the top 16. I went to the right map, but uh, did the wrong strategy. So now you do not send out pogs against an undying rogue. Yeah. That's all I'm gonna say. So, but hey, congrats on your top 16 win, guys. Good job. Hope to see you guys next year. Obviously, we will. Good luck, guys. All right, guys. This is the top eight for Worlds in the very first team event that ever had a full sealed brick. We got a Phoenix Nest versus I believe the Rogue Masters here. We got a little Adam Friedman versus Ed Shelton going on. Ooh, okay, okay. A little Izzy Denki versus Mad G, a little conflict of interest. Ooh, ah. And we got George versus Wes over here with that big Saturnine pole. Ooh, this could be a, this could be a fun game. Oh yeah, yeah, Nimrod too, Nimrod too. Nimrod Prime versus Saturnine. This is a kind of a powerhouse game, actually, gentlemen. This will be a, this will be a fun one to pay attention to. Here we have the Gulf Coast Avengers versus the Uncanny Clicksman. Two different regions representing going on over here. Let's do 
We got another Saturnine game here. So that's two teams that have Saturnine in the top eight. We also see... Looks like a... Uh, a Chase White Sword also going over here. So the Chases are strong representation here in the top eight. Going over here, we got Four Points Gaming versus the, uh, I believe it's, uh, it's not talking about Bruno. <laughs> we got another White Sword here in top eight. It's strong. Let's see, I'm sorry, Jay. I'm not seeing any Hope Summers or Solemns, Jay. It's looking a little rough here. All right. We got our first monarch I think I've seen like in top so far. It's pretty impressive. All right, let's go check out the last team. They'll call it a day here. We got a Blake Chase. So the chases are pretty strong here in top eight. Looks like they are going super heavy on the chases. We do have our we do have our uh, we do have our Hope Summers. We do have Hope Summers though. So Jay Solomon represent. We have Hope Summers in the top eight. Hopefully he's happy about that. We'll check back in when another brutal cut to top four happens, ladies and gentlemen. We'll see you then. They've called last action on the top eight. Now we're gonna cut down to top four. Let's go ahead, we're gonna talk to the first team that got beat out, but they're gonna get their prizing. So let's go ahead and take a peek at, ooh, that sexy, sexy top eight prizing. All right. That's a lot, that's a big box. Now, the big difference between top four and top eight is top four is a full chase prime set, baby. So there's quite a lot on the line for making a big W. Yeah, <laughs> I love that reaction. All right, fellas, can we talk to you really quick? Go for it, man. We'll just talk to Ed real quick. No problem. Yeah, actually, I'm not comfortable with Ed. Oh! All right, what happened for there? Why'd you choke? It was kidding. I'm messing with you, bro. But seriously, uh, what's so up? What ended up happening is I played Adam Friedman. He had a really good team. He zoned in on me. I had double barrier, but he won map, so I couldn't eliminate uh, him from coming in. He had uh, X23 Wolverine Super Rare, was in hindering, did 11 move charge, and started uh, doing work. Kick, took out my barrier, my Jean Grey. I couldn't copy with sync, but I, I got some good mind controls out. I killed everything but Summoner and X23. That's just as respectable as I can get. I didn't like go down like some little punk or something. All right, all right, all right. Who's your MVP for your team, guys? Just feel free to point. MVP for team? All right. Why were you the MVP? What'd you do, bro? You carrying? Back hurt a little bit? Uh, I gave up 45 points on the day. Wow. Uh, so I got pulled Summoner, Wolverine, to Double Magic, and Saturnine. Yeah, Saturnine. Sort of important thing. So okay. sorry. No, don't worry about it. No, Saturnine, Summoner. That stuff's real good, real strong team. Isaac, why are you the weakest link? <laughs> just messing with you, dude. All right, how'd your game go? What was the favorite game of yours today, Isaac? Uh, I'd say the best one was probably the last round of Swiss. For sure. For just sure. because that one was really back and forth. Basically, it came down to a turn where I needed to tie up Rogue, and we each had two probs on it, used them all on the breakaways, and he ended up getting it when the dust settled. Okay, Congrats, you guys, on your top eight win, though. Good job. Seriously, good job, guys. All right, all right let's catch some other teams here. So. All right, guys, we're going to talk to a few more teams here from Top 8. We have the Uncanny Clicksman, first of all. Congratulations on your guys' Top 8 Thank finish. You. That's pretty Thank awesome, you. especially in the very first ever yeah. Sealed Worlds with full brick. So, what happened out there today, guys? What's up? Uh, we had a mix. Of, we, we had a, probably above average brick in the fact that we had a chase and a prime. Yep. Uh, we're pretty happy with that. Uh, otherwise, kind of ho-hum. Right? What do you say? Oh, what chase and prime. Oh yeah, chase and prime. We, we got. Oh, what did we get? What did we get? We got the chases were white sword. White sword and prime. Rogue. Prime rogues. There we go. Prime rogue. Okay. But we got one. One piece only had TK. One TK. So and it no was Hope, Hope Summers. No Jean. No so our mobility across the board was really Very lacking. Limited. So. But even with rough mobility, that's a top eight finish, and that's still incredible, guys. So. Why the loss? Are we, are we saying mobility was the issue? Yeah. First. Yeah. Okay. Oh. So. My game went pretty well. Rolls were pretty good till Rogue went and crit missed, but still, you know, ahead on points by the end. So he was a great player, great uh, competitor. So, but it was, you know, it's it's the way it goes sometimes. The dice just will do dice things. Okay, Caleb. Um, I played against a guy using a Cyclops recruiter, so my goal was to kill that first. That way, they don't bring in. Un so I sniped him, and that was about the only successful attack I hit that game. Yeah, okay. that was it. About you, Mike. Um, let's see, I faced Saturnine. Oh, that's tough. Um, so that was really Saturnine, Captain Britain, and uh, Magic, and uh, the White, Priest, White Priestess, I think. Okay. And so 
I had no shot in that game. <laughs> I, I killed Magic. Uh, I moved around, made some attacks, but his her, Saturnine's ability to just make you reroll one die. So when I finally do get the hit, I hit the eight, hit a nine, hit a ten, whatever it needed, and then she'd make the. I needed a five and a six or whatever, and she'd make me reroll. Or I had like a, a six and a four and make me reroll the six, and then I'd miss. Uh, that happened every time that I actually hit. Uh, it's a board wide, and uh, yeah, it was a little tough in that. It was just a really bad matchup for me, but that's the way it goes. That's clicks. Rock, paper, scissors. A little more positive note. Who's you guys' team MVP? For you to point. Oh, man. It was it. Why was that? What was that? What do you think? Uh, that, it's a pretty big honor. I don't know that I would agree. Oh, okay. So. okay. Why is he your MVP? Uh, he won more games than we did. <laughs> well, okay. well, I, I think that's pretty open and shut case. I think that's pretty good. Okay, what was your guys' most fun game of the day, though? A little more lighthearted. Um, Jesse Cote. Jesse Cote. Awesome. Yeah, we had a really fun game. It was like, we even said at the beginning, no gotchas, you know, all that stuff. We yeah. just played really cool, and we both scored a tremendous amount of points. I think he got me, but I still ended up getting like 200 and something points. Really good game. We really slugged it out, and okay. uh, really fun. Okay, awesome. Kill? Mine was a nail biter, and I was playing against um, the Chase blink and okay. it came down to points where i i was down to magneto uh construct jugs and and uh roulette and he was down to the chase and roulette killed the chase oh, wow. two two attacks getting through roulette. sense of shape change yeah, roulette too. roulette wow. killed blink that was the exciting one i won that game all right Eric. my well, I guess it was my first game. So I, I one-turned X-23, and then he one-turned Prime Rogue, and then it was just back and forth, back and forth, and barely squeaked out the, the win at the end. So it was, very, it was close. He was kind of coming back to the game, but clearly he knew what he was doing from times past, and he, he had just a great attitude. Both had some rough roles, but, you know, you got to... You gotta have, keep a good attitude, and that's part of sportsmanship. So, okay. yeah, awesome. he, was, he was great. Hey, guys, congratulations on the top eight finish. Let's go back to your day. Thank but you. seriously, good job, guys. We have Four Points Gaming Killer. Hey, guys, what's up? All right, yes. top eight finish. All the prizes in the world. It's amazing. What was, uh, was one of your favorite games of the day here? Uh, I actually really enjoyed my last one. Last one. It was very uh, standoffish, okay. and uh, I was thinking, how much time is Neither left in this clock? Yeah. Uh, yeah, we just stared at each other meanly. We were just like, this power, that person, yeah. you know what I mean. There was a lot of perplexive defense and pass, perplexive defense and pass, but we did move up. I broke some blocking, did, did little minor things to get slight advantages. Ooh, and okay. I finally launched with what I thought was the best. He double tokened a good character. I got out a 30 point figure. A minute later, last action. That's tough. Isaac. Sometimes you guess the clock. Yeah, that's right. Isaac, what about you? I'd have to say my favorite game was the one game I won. These guys carried me all the way to the top eight. I only got one win against the, uh, an X-Men mirror. I just, it was the one game I didn't recruit either, so that may be a, a clue for how to play in future so games. So he, he recruited right. five games and lost those five, and the one you didn't recruit, you won. Yes. A recruiter might be bad, guys. I, I'm just, I'm not positive. I'm not positive, but it feels like Recruiter might be bad. Uh, my favorite game was the one where they finally let me take out my pants. That's a big deal for me, personally. Uh, it, not, it wasn't the last game. I know you're checking. Uh, I got to play as twice, which is really cool, which was also ironic because we practiced the whole time in between lunch together and then accidentally played each other. So we had a lot of intel on each other. So it was really close. I lost by five points. Uh, but yeah, other than that, I thought it was um, pretty Pretty fun tournament. I thought it was weird that they made us oil wrestle. Uh, uh, okay, so anyways, I think, no, I'm just kidding. We do have more questions for you. What happened in those last games? What do you think uh, cemented you guys as only a top eight instead of a top four finish? <laughs> Five. <laughs> <It's> not a <laughs> loser. <laughs> you're not first, you're a loser. Who lost? Who lost? <laughs> I did. I lost. Five points. Five, Five points. Five um, points. Points make the difference. The team effect, the team thing is so great because the game he won, was the game round I lost, right? And so we're, we still continue to move through ranks because it's that's my favorite part of the team thing. Absolutely, rooting on your teammates and then them picking you up, you picking them up. Okay, it's great. Okay, Isaac, what do you think happened in those last games? Uh, well, I mean, I recruited. Yeah, that was yeah, a mistake. No, no, no. <laughs> recruiting, we, recruiting constantly. We, People that weren't even part of Hero Clicks. We just figured that he didn't pull. He recruited <laughs> nonstop. Galactus was on the map for a while. Yeah, crazy. I mean, realistically, these guys won all their games except for one each. 
Uh, he went nine and one when we won the oh. world team championships. For the for record, us. they gave me the best team, and they're like, "I'll play with the dregs because yeah. they, uh, they can and I can." So I see, I see. There's some strategy there too, right? Of course, it's not true. Ed had one figure, forty point figure. That was it. Eighty one every game. Forty points. <laughs> and Magneto with TK also had forty points. Oh wow! Okay, all right. <laughs> I'm making it up, but like, yes, I had a good team. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, for me. The thing that kind of lost me the games in the end was the fact that I just didn't have enough time. Like, I ended with six figures versus two figures, and I win if I have two or three more turns, but that's just the nature of Recruiter, is you get a whole lot of figures, but you're down on points. Technically, there's really almost no scenario in which Recruiter wouldn't win in an infinite game. Like, it's pretty rare, especially in Sealed, right? Yeah. Yeah. It's like a Mercy Rule type game, but yeah. yeah. I mean, well, they're all Mercy Rule, right? Yeah, I remember you had 395 against you once. Yeah, I had zero costed figures left on the board. I had three recruited <laughs> figures on the board, and 395 had been scored by my opponent. So I just still lost that game yeah. but <laughs> it, was good, it was cool it was a neat it was thing neat. to happen it was neat that dude killed a lot of <laughs> that guy called a lot of now where does this air and finally you got back to me so the oil wrestling thing that you really oh, want to okay talk. well so anyways to answer your question really quickly it does it will air on dial h for hero clicks the best hero clicks podcast you can listen to it is on youtube.com it well quality wise i don't eat during my show Hey, thank you. Appreciate that. And he's got video, unlike some podcasts. Yeah, some podcasts can't afford video. I understand they're very poor people. They can't afford hair either. It's really rough. It's really tough market out there. Fake. I know. <laughs> it's cheap. This, this, you know, it's tough. That's all right. Yeah. I got magnets. It's fine. But uh, seriously, guys, congratulations on the top eight victory. You guys did a fantastic job. It's a good showing. We look forward to seeing you guys. Oh, God. Oh, my Lord. Okay. Uh, I got a little bit of bald sweat on me. That's okay. I look forward to talking to you guys, hopefully tomorrow in, uh, in Constructed. But seriously, it was a joy talking to you guys. We'll see you there. All right. All right. <laughs> All right. In a little while, we're going to go ahead and check in on the people from top four and see what our final two teams are going to be, guys. Like I said, it is heating up out there in Team Sealed. All right, we are down to the top two teams, which means we can talk to the top four teams right now. We have the Robe Meisters right here. Guys, what's going on? How do you feel? But first of all, what happened? You guys are 2019 world champs, and I know this might sting a little bit. I don't mean this to be rude, but seriously, you guys went super far, but what happened? We lost five games over the course of the entire event. Yeah. Just, and we just went 0-3. Um, pretty much, it was, yeah. I, had to, I gave Kevin the shot. He took it. Uh, I missed all shape changes, missed super senses, and then crit hit back to back on my last two attacks to win. Crit miss, crit miss, crit miss, crit miss, to loot. If I hit, I win. Crit miss, crit miss, I lose. And then I missed a five even to win. Roll a four. Blaming dice, kind of sad, not going to lie. Uh, George, what's up? Not much, man. What a great day. <laughs> That's right. Adam, you look stunning as always. You look like you just woke up. It's beautiful. What's up? I did always. I always just woke up. That's sort of that's the secret. Uh, uh, okay. It's like Bruce Banner, right? He's he's always angry. I always just woke up. <laughs> uh, yeah, my matchup was it was uh, it was generally a bad matchup. He had the ranged Magneto. There's not much I can do. He gets in early. I can't hit him back. Uh, punish him harder than he hits me. Uh, I think maybe there was a little bit more I could have done on the going in, but uh, it basically comes down to like that was just not a favorite matchup. I don't think anyway. So someone told me, because I have a terrible memory, you played Bastion last time, and you kind of played Nimrod this time. Yeah. And were they similar? Was the was that kind of going into the team build? This Nimrod is way but I'm so glad I pulled this Nimrod, because I'm yeah. a, a real favorite fan of Nimrod. Okay. So him in, in Saturn were like the two cha prime and chase I was going after. Okay. I got him, and then we pulled him in sealed, so we got to play him again today. Nice. But Joe, you just, you know, I got the first kill against Joe, but then he just worked me the rest of the game. Okay. He worked me over. We'll do a happier note. Who's your guys' MVP for this year? No, no, no! You're, you're three. You three. Who's your? <laughs> it basically, didn't matter much because we all lost in the same. We all lost in the same round. You, d you didn't lose at all. I lost. I lost once in Swiss, I think. And you lost once in Swiss. We, we had one loss in Swiss. I did not lose. Oh no! At no all so yeah. So we yeah, the last the, round. Yeah. So and I, I lost once in, in single. Okay. <laughs> he was gonna make a third. Oh, sorry, a second flash figure too. We were very excited for the win. Yeah, yeah. This time, this time it would have four dials. 
they took out the design of figure for Team Worlds. So we need to like make some memes, make some posts. No, no, some of those memes are pretty bad though. To get this back. Get it back. Okay, okay, we're strong. Get back design of figure. I'm strong. Get back design of fake too. It's the best part of the game. Real quick, what's you guys' favorite matchup of the day though? Most fun game you had, most fun team you played against? Uh, this one. This Joe one? beat my ass really good, yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, uh, I, I gave Kevin, yeah, uh, yeah, it was a good one. Kevin, he just, he, yeah, got me. I missed. Uh, top 16, it was basically a mirror match. Uh, we had a lot of the same type of stuff going on, and he actually, I think, had a slight advantage potentially. Uh, so it was, it was fun to try and find a way around it. Fantastic. Well, you guys are all still great players. Obviously, I look forward to seeing you guys in the singles matches. Consolation compliment. Hey, I'm, so, I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry, but seriously, you guys got, I mean, full Chase Prime sets. You guys made out like bandits. Uh, Ten of Swords, I believe, for top four. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. I'm pretty sure you did. Let's go check out, go check out your prize, man. But seriously, good job, guys. This is incredible. See ya. All right. Golf Coast gang, let's get, let's make sure we pick and choose the right ones here. We had some kind of stolen valor going on over here. Pretty messed up. Guys, you guys were going so strong. You're doing great. What happened out there? Who wants to? Um, I, I, I had a Saturn on team. It was really gross. I went 6-0. and oh. um, I, The last game was tough. We had good opponents, and we lost by 10 points. 10 points in the last game. I mean, everybody in the top four was super good. So it's not like there was any slouches or easy wins, but it was, it was fun. It was one of the better run events I've been to in a long time. I'm glad we're back playing live again. You guys all kind of agree yeah. with that sentiment? Yeah, okay. my opponent uh, rolled dice. They called time. My last guy got KO'd. Uh, if not, it would have been different things. I would have been – I was up on points at that point in time and then just just is what it is. But it was really nice to play teams uh, because everybody we played was really cool. Um, everybody was real friendly. It was a very, very – uh, friendly atmosphere from everybody. Met people from Canada, all across the world. It was beautiful. Okay, awesome. Anything you want to say really quick to the people at home? I enjoyed the team sealed. It was really fun. Um, it kind of, I feel like it leveled the play and filled for me for a little bit because I get stomped everywhere else I go. <laughs> so <laughs> so right. that's it. Thank you very much. All right, awesome. Man. Really quick, really quick, guys. Who's your MVP? MVP, you Corey. three. Oh, uh, no, uh, no, we kind of no, got. No, yeah, this yeah. is mad Spider Man. <laughs> okay. The MVP Corey Long did make all three teams for today's world. All right. He took he took he took the brick. He went through and gave us all competitive teams, and he knows our play style. So he's like, "Here's the beater team, Joe, go play it. Lionel, you play the scraps." And he had this crazy recruiter team with a lot of lot of issues. You know, he had a lot of things to do, but he had the thinking team. I had the the easy team, roll dice and win. And I, I had the hope team. I had a lot of hope. <laughs> Hope All and right. prayers. All right. Hey, guys, seriously, All right, good job. Fantastic. Thanks we'll see lot, you guys man. for the rest of the weekend. See you guys. All right. We got Heroclix Masterminds beat out in top four. It's going to be the top two head-to-head -head gladiatorial battle, guys. We're going to check in that in one second. It is the top four, the very first Heroclix Team Nationals, not only in three years, but the first one with a full brick. Let's go ahead and check it out. We have a Klixtoff team versus a Phoenix Nest team. Personally, I'm a little biased. Joseph Abs, he's one of the coolest players I know. I got my homeboys from Sioux Falls versus some pretty awesome dudes over here on Clickstaff as well. We got Mad Jim Prime on this team. We got a Chase Blink on this team. We got some high dollar pieces. We got Peepers on this team helping out. We got a TK. This is really good stuff, guys. These are some of the best bowls we've seen all day. Now, Kevin's got a bit of a mix match. That's a whole lot of magic there. Asking the question, do you believe in magic when it comes down to if this is going to be the magic team that'll you know pull out the victory for his two teammates? Over here, yeah, we got a Wolverine. That's gonna be tough to take out of Mystics. Wolverine doesn't really care about it too much. Head table here, we got Anthony Bruno versus Lucas Van Holland. There's a lot going on. It looks like we got some uh, recruiter Cyclops going on here. There's actually a lot of uh, a lot of commons, uncommons on this team. I think we got one super rare and then a rare on the entire build. So, not the highest value team here. I think we got a super rare object though. This is going to be incredible. Game's just getting started. Nothing's been KO'd yet, but I'm on the edge of my seat, ladies and gentlemen. I can't wait to see who wins. Either way, it's going to be a matchup for the lifetime. We'll see you there.